Now, hikers are being warned about being careful about the dangers that have nothing to do with COVID-19. The NBC4 I-Team investigator Lolita Lopez found that even when the trails were closed, well, hikers did manage to keep emergency crews busy. Members of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department's Air Rescue 5 prepping for what could be yet another busy day. You know, we get a lot of folks that are carrying a Starbucks cup and some flip-flops and they go hiking and they're just, they're fish out of water, you know, they run across an area and they get stuck or they fall. In fact, when hiking trails across L.A. County first opened on Mother's Day weekend, Air 5 was part of a half a dozen rescues, as many as they see on a typical weekend. This even though the number of hikers out there is estimated to be lower than pre-COVID-19. This video shows a man stuck on the side of a cliff, a rescue from a couple of weeks back when stay-at-home orders were still in place. The trailhead parking was closed. However, people were able to park on the side of the road and access the trails. Which kept these folks busy, much as they have been. The I-Team first told you about the record number of search and rescue missions in L.A. County in 2019. 787 missions, up from 723 in 2018, and a nearly 40% increase over a five-year period. Many times, people are not prepared. You should definitely let somebody know where you're going. You should carry some essential stuff, you know, water. Crews now with new preparations, abiding by county health orders and approaching with caution. We still don't know if these are asymptomatic COVID patients, so we do approach them as though they had COVID. And even then, we, we leave a mask on the patient. The medics still have masks on them. Their mission, however, still the same. Patient care is still the utmost importance. And a good tip if you're headed out, put your cell phones on airplane mode or turn them off until you really need them. Another great resource is the L.A. Sheriff Hiking Plan. You fill that out, put it on your dashboard, and if something happens, rescuers can use that if they need to take immediate action. We put it on our website. That's NBCLA.com. For the I-Team, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.